Amado Nervo was a Mexican mystic and poet who died in 1919. One of his poems captures the spirit of Mary's song in today's reading. He wrote, I am only a spark, make me a fire. I am only a string, make me a lyre. I am only an anthill, make me a mountain. I am only a drop, make me a fountain. I am only a feather, make me a wing. I am only a beggar, make me a king. God used his handmaid, Mary, to be the mediator for his word, his spirit, and his hope. When we entrust our lives to God's will, God surprises us beyond our imagination. This has been my experience in the past. On this feast of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, he's inviting us to proclaim his words through our words, his spirit through our deeds, and his hope through our lives as Mary did. Why is it important to us? It is important for us because there are many people who live in darkness, including members of our own families, without knowing his word, his spirit, and his hope. God wants to use us as instruments to bring his word, his spirit, and his hope. First, we echo his words by our words. We preach with words, but proclaim it with our lives. You must have heard it yesterday. Father Willie shared that with us. We see people like Mary, Elizabeth, and John, John the Baptist, so filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith in his promises, proclaim by their lives what God commanded them to do. St. Paul reminds us, he and his companions are putting no obstacle in anyone's way. How often, <clears throat> how we, because of our harsh words, insensitive remarks, lack of generosity and justice in our lives, scandalized others, especially our own family members? Secondly, we live his spirit by our deeds. <clears throat> Recently, I attended a retreat in Toronto preached by Father Xavier Khan Watail. In this retreat, I was drawn to love Jesus more deeply and intimately. Father Watail is a man of God intimately in love with him and filled with his Holy Spirit he, he basks in God's love, listens to God's message, and proclaims his message by his words and deeds. He spends his time reflecting on the word of God and praying the rosary. He is empowered by the spirit, spirit of God, and the Lord uses him and anoints him to be an instrument of God's healing to many souls. And thirdly, we share his hope by our lives. Mary went in haste to support Elizabeth in her pregnancy and at the same time brought the joy of Jesus to her and uh, to John the Baptist in her womb. This is a holy moment where divinity meets humanity. The child, John, leapt in Elizabeth's womb, confirming Mary's faith in the Lord. We cannot walk alone in our faith. We need the support of our families and fellow Catholics. Today we come across many people who live without hope. I have come across many older people 
living in loneliness, rejected by their loved ones. Many are wounded and live without hope because of broken relationships. May God use us to proclaim his word, his spirit, and his hope by our lives. God bless you and your families.